Hi everyone, Pino Trogo again from San Francisco State, and this is the information design class data visualization. We're going to now do item number five in the layout sketch for project number two about the coronavirus. And we're going to do a simple colored map or choroplat. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but um, and um, using cases per 100,000 because um, otherwise states that have lots would just look you know worse than states that have um, few cases but um, uh, but the key here is per capita right or per 100,000 in this in this case so and I'm going to show in this one I'm also going to show how to um, edit it a little bit in illustrator after we do it um, so let's see um, and the the um, again I was looking at okay I want to look at California how do they show California do they show a map uh, they actually do so that would be let's see if I can find it that would be here some data um, to go to the map, which takes a little while to load. Um, down below. Yeah, let's see if we go by cases here. Um, California. Let's see if they have a map. And they do. Yeah, here we go. So this is a map of, of the um, just the past week. So this is not going to be what um, what we're going to do. But um, it's interesting. They show only a few labels, kind of static, and then you know it's the overlay again. Uh, notice how it's clean, though it doesn't have any junk. Well, actually. I know why they do that. They kept the base map really, really light underneath. And this is map box, by the way, which is something that Tableau uses. Um, so instead, what we're going to do is cases. Yeah, right now or a few days ago, per 100,000 in California. Um, and so for that, let's see what data set we have. So this would be under five, right? Again, I need to check my title here. Yeah, number five. Um, uh, actually, we're doing this. That's right. We're doing the US. Sorry, 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 sorry. We're doing the US first. Uh, later we do the, the California. Too many, too many things. Um, well, let's um, let's see what it looks like in there. Okay, never mind. Somewhere in the New York Times page, there is a map of of the U.S. Um, Actually, I do want to show it because it doesn't show colored areas, it shows dots, it shows circles. So I'm going to try to find that, which would be this one. I guess we're already there. Loads again, this map shows in the last week, um, but we want total cases. So that's the map we're going to do. However, um, this uses circles, right? Instead of filling with color. So that's does the same. And the per capita one, 
shows what we're going to do. The only difference is here they do every single county, okay? And so that file that has, uh, well, yeah, that file that has a million rows also is probably used to generate this. Um, although here you just need 3000 because it's a specific day. Um, I'm just gonna say a couple of things about this map and we're gonna try with the help of my TAs, we're gonna try to be able to use this particular projection, which is a nicer, more rounded shape. Also the Alaska is more like proportional, although I think, yeah, I think that's the right proportion. In the other maps, it, it looks too distorted. Uh, we'll see. Okay, so um, notice also how there's a nice white line, the border between the states. That's my preference, not a black line. Um, and all right, so this is what we're doing, except for states, not counties. Um, but later, I'll show you also how we can do a little bit this. That's end cases using the big JSON file that I got earlier, okay? So let's go to, um, and that was this big file, USA JSON. Um, so for this, what did I do? I forget, I think I got it. Um, can't remember now where I got it from. I might have gotten it from here too, because I put the file in here. So I think this was another one where it wasn't easy to get it straight from the publicly available ones. And, um, oh, yes, I should, I should talk about this. Oh, I know now how I got it. I got it by doing a cut and paste. Let me just quickly show you. This is, this is not it, but um, the next one, just bear with me for a moment. Yeah, okay. Um, I got it from here. I, I went to the different states list, which is somewhere down below here uh, in the list that has the hot spots. okay? And, uh, and this is really what we want, right? Even though the gigantic file is driving this, really what we want in our case, it's um, per 100,000 cases. So I'm sorting it now, right? And this is whatever, this is like today, I guess, but my data set was earlier. Um, so what I did simply was I, I, I just grabbed it like this, okay? I'm just gonna do a section now because I've already done it. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go through the process for the video, but if I do this, let's say I, I copy this, then I open Excel. Um, and then I paste, nothing happens. Why is that? Let me copy again. There we go. So this is actually pretty good. Now, the only thing, um, it's pretty good because it's got all the information that we need, right? We got the cases per 100,000. The only thing is, oh, actually this copy, the, usually this gets shifted, but it looks like it's skipped. Usually cases is there. So this actually looks good. Total cases 99, let's double check, yeah. Um, anyway, what might happen, which happened to me earlier, <laughs> of course, for the video, it doesn't happen, um, is this, that actually, doesn't let me do it. Anyway, they were like shifted um, so that I actually had total cases over the states, which was bad. Um, and that was because, I don't know, maybe because I this. Go figure, you know, when you try to replicate something, it doesn't happen. So this is good. This is good that it's actually the way it's supposed to be, um, but there's a lot of junk here, okay? And I'm gonna go over how to clean this up because 
um, you never know what might trigger something bad. Um, I'll just do this little example, right? So first of all, I'm gonna insert a row here to simplify, actually here, to simplify the, uh, the label. So I'm gonna say, I won't do it because it's got this. I have to do another quick hack here. I'm just trying to insert a new row and it's, it's not letting me do it. Okay. <laughs> um, Okay, really what we want. Um, again, it, it was faster when I did it earlier, but I'm just gonna do this and just do it without that one so that I can just show you. Um, anyway, what I wanna do is I wanna say state, total cases, let's just say cases, per 100K, um, et cetera, okay? So average, and then average 100K. Um, and what, what I wanna do though is also clean up this com all these commas. You see all these commas? Tableau probably won't care but I don't like it. So I'll just say format cells and make it a number and just get rid of the decimals and also don't use the separated. And that's, ah, I didn't do it for some reason because it's think it's something else. Um, I tell you what, let's just say general number. Okay. Maybe we can just make it general. And it doesn't seem like I can get rid of it. Okay, well, somehow I got rid of it earlier. Um, for Tableau, again, you can probably leave it and you'll be okay, right? Um, but if you save it as a comma separated file, this would actually create a double cell, right? So the other thing is I want to get rid of these links. So hyperlink, remove hyperlink. And right now, just because I want to show you uh, what I'm gonna do is copy this new, I'm just gonna save because even when you do that kind of cleanup, I'm gonna save this as a comma separate uh, value. Um, so this is now in number five. Um, close this and then I open it in with text edit, I mean with uh, text wrangler. You see that there is junk and it's such a weird junk because, um, because what it is, it put um, this I can find and replace and delete. So copy, find, V and replace with, not, replace with nothing, right? So that clean up, but this part was really odd. Copy, find, and when I paste it, look what it is. It's a very bizarre, it was probably the link. So anyway, we definitely do not want that. Um, and that's a cleaner file, right? So now it should save that. 
Uh, so I did this because I don't trust Excel, basically. So I always try to have a clean text file. You can always open it later with Excel, but it's always good to have a text file. So you can get you can get both. But um, so eventually, um, I ended up with this is the Excel version. Um, what I had, yeah, the cases per 100,000, the daily average in the last seven days and the daily average per 100,000. Um, so, and this is the Excel file, the clean one. Oh, actually, no, you see this one? This one still has that very weird stuff. So I got rid of that and I saved it. Yeah, you see, it's like weird, weird. Not safe, okay, go away. Um, so anyway, the, the commas, I'll leave you with the comma separate value file, which is the clean one, which is this one that doesn't have any junk. I also got rid of like Virgin Islands had US with dots, I got rid of that. And Washington DC had the dots, I got rid of the dots. So let's see, let's click, let's. Um, so I'm gonna open it again in um, Tableau. And this is what, uh, let's see if we did it. Oh, wait a minute, this is not it. Um, oh, I had two files here, sorry, this one. <clears throat> okay, this is the map, it's not, uh oh, well, yeah, it's not the greatest because the values are very close. Uh, and even though I try to play with the key somehow, I couldn't get it to look um, any better. But I did do a couple of things. Um, so let's try to do it. So let's see, sheet two. Yeah. So the data source looks like that. And I, I brought it in again. Right, you would bring it in here. Connect and to a text file. Again, text file is safer. So this would be in five. Uh, and it would be this one. Okay. I'm not gonna do it now because I already have it. Um, so but let's look at the data source. Um, oh. The names themselves of the states are enough for Tableau to know how to draw the shapes, okay? So I wanna do a new one. If I click, let's see, um, state, double click state. You see it's a geo, it's geographic already. It says it's a state. If I double click on it, it does that. So that's, I think you can zoom in and zoom out by putting the mouse in the right spot if you wanted to do it closer to where you are. Um, so it puts a dot into what's called the centroid of the state. It's not the geographic center, sort of an average. Um, and now I click on cases per 100,000, right? And now it's giving me a circle. They're all quite similar, but um, it's okay. But what we want is we want the actual shape. So instead of automatic here, we're going to say map, perhaps. That's it. That's good. So now it colored everything, but we're going to drop, by the way, Alaska is here too. And you can see how distorted the maps get, gets. Um, 
No, I'm trying to remember what I did exactly. I think if we draw now cases, the different into color. Yeah, that's how I did it. Okay, so um, the first thing I want to do, I want to go here to the uh, key and change these and say edit colors. I don't like that it's continuous. You should never do a continuous scale usually here. So just say step colors, maybe six colors. Also under advanced, you can say the beginning and the end, maybe 250. It makes even steps. So it's hard to know now what an even step would be. Um, but the end, maybe it's like, maybe let's say 15,000. Okay, a little better. So a couple of things about the map. Um, you can change, uh, the base map usually shows through and I don't like that effect. Um, I actually, let's see, under maps, uh, map options maybe, no. Under map, uh, map layers. Um, oh yeah, here it is. So the style is light, wash out zero, but this gets rid of it completely. And actually, this is good. This would be my preference. The only trouble is if you have a hole, if you have no data for a state, it would be like a big hole. That's not good. So a little bit is good. The trouble is that then, if you bring this in Illustrator, you should get rid of what's around by creating maybe a clipping mask. Okay, we'll see that later. Um, but these are the options, right? Um, and again, it shows those names, which, which is one reason why I don't like it um, at all, because um, because you can put the names on top by doing, you know, by dragging the labels. The other thing I want to do is I want to make the borders white. So let's see. Borders, um, I forget what that is. If I click on it and I click on color, uh, yeah, borders automatic instead I want to make it white. Yeah, that's it. So that's nice, much better, much better map with the white, um, with the white borders. So, Okay, now let's close this. Uh, by the way, you can, in maps, if you want it, in the layers, um, you could do, um, sorry, in the options. Nope, can't remember. There is a way to show, um, different kinds of maps, like, oh, here it is, terrain. Cross line, except it's too light, so, right? You could show the street, actually I can't show the streets here. Anyway, you can play around with that. Um, this gives a little more of a 3D effect, but let's not use it now. All right, so now just simply drag the state label to the label here. I mean, the state information to that um, and the size, if they don't fit, by the way, here's how you can, um, there's an option here that says allow labels to overlap other marks. So now of course they get all bunched up, but you can always clean it up later. And the type size, of course, is too, too big, actually. Um, by the way, yeah, six point is small. And even in my sketch, my maps are a little too small. So maybe if you just do one map, make it bigger. Um, and that's pretty good. So now I'm, I want to do another thing. Oops, I did something wrong there. I'm going to put the, the number. I'm going to put the number also under label here. 
that's that shows the cases. Okay, so um, that's it. So now I could export this. Um, if the colors are too dark later, um, you want to make those white, right, on the dark background. Um, So anyway, I'm not going to show now. It would take too long how I did a clipping mask in Illustrator uh, because I had that gray background, which was useful. Um, yeah, in California, you will see. Okay, so this is it. Uh, again, you could just print this. Um, so I guess I can stop this and go to the next one, which will be the California map. Actually, no, sorry, this, this is a little bit longer, but um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly show you uh, with this other file, which was a different color scheme. Um, I actually brought in, if you do connect, instead of to a text or Mac Excel, you can say JSON file. And here I have my JSON file that I found later, that I found earlier in the, in the way I explained, um, doing a little bit of scavenging. Um, I'm not gonna open it because I actually did bring it already in and I'm gonna show you what you can do pretty cool. Um, so somehow, let's see. Oh, it was the other one. Let's see if it was, it was actually the same file. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, because it's big. <laughs> okay, so anyway, um, here I said connect to a JSON file. Okay, and I found it. it was that big one. Um, and it was here. Um, actually, I should, I have to show you how I did it. So because it, you have choices when you're bringing a file that's so complicated. So let me do a, a new one. And I'm going to say connect to JSON, and I, I'm not an expert of JavaScript. This is what this is, but um, so when I open it now, Tableau knows it's, it's a JSON file, so it's gonna say, okay, what do you wanna do with this? And I wanted to do as little as possible. So what I said was, okay, that's the top level. This would select all, but instead I said data, and it looks like I have no choices there, I have to say data. And then here, I just took latest cases and that, and that's it. I left everything else out um, and I said, okay. And that's perhaps one of the reasons why I couldn't get everything to visualize. But, um, but real quick, uh, when I did a new sheet, um, some things are not, properly uh, labeled. So for example, this one that's called GeoID, it says ABC, but in fact, what I wanted, I wanted to make it to a geographic label. And I guess now I can't remember what it was. Um, I have to look at the file. So GeoID, oh, here it is. It's used, uh, okay, so that's the state, obviously. It's, Oh no, it's a count, oh gosh. I don't wanna use that because that looks like the counties. Well, let's just use it. So that to me looks like, because there are so many, I'm gonna guess that it's the county. Um, so why don't we just say geographic role uh, county, and then um, I forget now what I, but 
I think this was also counted the long name. Don't remember. Let's let's give it a try. So the measures are okay. These are numbers. I mean the sorry, the dimensions. Okay, so if I click on GeoID, let's see what happens. Ah, wrong name. So it was, so the name itself actually works for the, um, anyway, I just wanted to show you this for just how to bring in the file. So this created all these dots, but let me go back to the one that I had already created. Um, and try to replicate. So I just want to see which ones I used. GeoID and long name. Oh, okay. It was that. So let's try to recreate. So this is, this is the cases, this is that. So these are very similar to the New York Times ones. Um, and then the latest cases, somehow when I did the cases, it didn't actually give me color here. So go figure, but, um, but let's, let's quickly create one. Let's see if we can, if we bring the GeoID, GeoID and long name. That's the ones. So I'll do a new one. And then wrong name. And that's it. So I'm trying to zoom in. Something funny happened there. Let me go back because I. Oh, okay. There was just a question of redrawing. Okay, so this put a dot for every one of these counties. Um, the trouble is, well, it's not a trouble, but somehow it doesn't show all the counties. So um, now we can do a couple of things. We can do the size. So if we bring again the, uh, the cases, cases, yeah, cases per latest. I thought I, thought I wanted the, um... okay, this is a snapshot now. Yeah, it's, I thought it was per capita, but maybe not. So, and I bring that to size and now I change the size. There we go. I get pretty much the map that I want. And now you can really play with the opacity here because obviously otherwise you wouldn't be able to see where all those circles are. Okay. Um, so if I duplicate this, and now I change instead of um, cases for the litters, oops, <laughs> and I put the deaths instead for size, um, are they different? Uh, they're different, I would have to. Um, by the way, the, the way Tableau makes the scale is this really silly looking, what I call a snowman or a Michelin man. Um, and what you want, actually, you want to do this. Okay, this is what you want to make the scale, the key. Okay, uh, with just circles. Uh, okay, well, this is pretty much it. Um, you know, I could change the color for, this is not that, so I could change the color perhaps to be orange um, and other things. You could also put a border, maybe a black border. Um, it's a little thick, but um, and 
and maybe you, if you wanted to put the labels now, of course, that would be tricky, right? Because the labels, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, you only have the ones that fit, okay? You can change the size, the, the size. And you could still say, okay, allow, allow, something happen here. I lost that little pane where it said, um, you know, where you can show them all. Maybe I'll do it on the other one. So long name under labels, and then under labels here, if you click this, it shows all of them. It actually makes a cool, a cool graphic. Um, this would be hard to disentangle, so probably don't do it. Um, and uh, yeah, again, for the for this for this spreadsheet, uh, for this file, for somehow when I did um, when I did. Um, this and I tried to put the color. Um, it didn't do it. Um, and notice how also I don't have all the counties. Um, so for somehow I couldn't get to the color to change here, even though the scale, um, the scale looks like it should be scaled, right? And gradient gradi gradated, but there is something that I can't figure out. Okay. So this is it. Uh, this is not required, but you could do if you want it, you know, this kind of map instead. All right. See you in the next one, which will be the California map. Bye.